Hello. Welcome to Time Out with Tom. I'm Tom Truisi. And uh, also welcome to um, Module 10. We're certainly moving along. And before I um, go any further, I just want to remind everyone that um, the professional ethics case study is due to me on November 12th, okay? And please, um, you can load it right up uh, to the um, uh, assignment bar uh, in um, Canvas. So please, if you have any questions about that, um, let me know, all right? I've received a couple of essays to look at. Um, I haven't seen too many of them. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, you'll be in touch with me soon because, uh, you know, I don't know whether you have a topic that's been approved or not. All right. So please, please stay in touch with me. Um, this uh, module is uh, dedicated to um, professional development. And one of the key issues um, that I'm going to ask you to consider is um, this. What is the role of the principal or curriculum leader uh, as opposed to teacher in professional development? Um, you know, you've probably um, heard of the term um, professional learning community. Okay, that seems to be a very, you know, popular term today, um, and a um, a common practice. Although they they the term may mean different things in different places, but um, really, uh, I think uh, the term serves as a model, uh, in a way, because um, lear professional learning community assumes that people are always um, upgrading their skills and always open to professional development. Um, they're lifelong learners, you might say. Okay, and that's a very that's a very interesting concept. Very different from some places where it's all very top down. I'm sure that some of you were coming off um, Superintendent's Conference Day in your school, and you may have had a variety of experiences with that. Um, some good, maybe some not so good, maybe some great. But I'd like you to consider this week what are some of the factors that contribute to effective professional development because it really is um, a major responsibility uh, relative to personnel uh, or staff, all right? So please, uh, if you haven't sent me a draft of your, um, of your next project, please do so and have a great week.